Profane here. I want to talk to you about the 311 rule for traveling. What it means is one person gets one Ziploc bag or a bag that would be the same size, basically, and you can put three ounces of liquid. So three ounces of liquid for one person for one quart size Ziploc bag. Now I can fit as many of these three ounce liquids as I can in this bag, but as you can see, that's not going to be a lot. So let me show you a couple things. What I have here are some things that I use daily or I know I would want to take with me to Costa Rica. So hairspray, lotion, toothpaste, makeup, face wash, sunscreen, and then here I have conditioner, shampoo, uh, more lotion, an empty bottle, and then basically uh, citronella body wash. So let's talk about this stuff. Okay, there's some things we can do to fit our everyday morning routine materials into a bag like this. Um, I do want to tell you, deodorant doesn't count as a liquid, a stick deodorant. You don't want to bring aerosol deodorant or the kind that you can like shake the rollerball, but a stick deodorant like this will be fine. Now toothpaste, again, that's going to be really hard to fit in here. So a little one, a little one will work fine. Makeup. Ladies, you don't need to impress anybody in Costa Rica. I would highly suggest leaving your makeup at home. Just don't bring it. You're not really gonna have room for it. Now, if you have powdered makeup, that's okay. That doesn't count as a liquid and it doesn't need to go in here. So there's makeup. Hairspray counts as a liquid. So if you really think you need to bring hairspray, get a travel size bottle. You're gonna want lotion. If you are traveling with a friend or with your parent, you can always double up. Like you can bring lotion and, and your friend can bring hairspray. That works really well. Uh, face soap, especially for ladies. Now personally, I'm not gonna die just using an actual bar of soap for a week. So what I'm going to do is leave my special face soap because it's not going to fit anyway. I'm gonna leave that at home and just use a bar of soap. Sunscreen is also considered a liquid. Um, if you find once you're done packing, there is no room for sunscreen in your 311 bag, don't worry about it. We'll just buy some in Costa Rica. Uh, most of the hotels, as far as I know, all the hotels we are going to stay at has shampoo. You don't even need to bring shampoo unless you are attached to your particular brand. Just use the hotels. Conditioner, I'm a little picky with conditioner and most hotels don't have it anyway. So I will be bringing my own conditioner and lotion. It's up to you. If you don't think you need lotion, just leave it out. But there's a chance you might get just a little burned. I use this app called Dminder that helps me not to get burned in the summer. So I can show you that here in Indiana, we're currently at UVI one which means I'm not gonna get burned. I could stay outside all day, no burning. But if you look, the UVI in Costa Rica is 11. And we are closer to the sun. So you will burn like that. Make sure you bring sunscreen. It is extremely important. You don't wanna go through the rest of your trip in pain because you thought a tan would look nice. Hey, that about covers it. Um, remember, three ounce liquids in one quart size bag per one person. It may take some maneuvering. Hopefully your Tetris skills are up to date, but it can be done. Ciao. As a bonus to our 311 video, I want to talk about what apps we're going to use. Uh, as a group, we are going to download the WhatsApp app and we will use that to stay in communication while we are in Costa Rica. Most of the rest of the world uses WhatsApp. Um, and so we are going to also use it as well too. Uh, I did mention Dminder a little previously. I think that will be extremely beneficial to you guys to understand how quickly you are going to burn in Costa Rica. Um, I will have it on my phone. So if you want to, you can always just ask me, hey, Profe, what's the UVI today? Like, oh. You're going to burn in two minutes. Use that sunscreen.
The other one is somebody you will need to get in touch with your cell phone carrier and ask them about an international plan, whoever that is. Okay, we're getting closer. I'm excited. Adios.